For weeks now, I have been warning you guys that a pullback would happen to the altcoins, and Bitcoin itself even would at worst trade sideways. But now we're seeing all of those things come to fruition, and today we're going to do a little bit of a market update, a little different than we normally do, taking a look at a couple different coins and giving you my expectation of what we could see happen and how you should react to that price action. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. We're the Investing Bros. Before we even get into the video, I got to remind you guys to go ahead and smash that like and hit subscribe if you're new here for updates every single day on what's happening in the crypto space. Even if you have to wait till the end of the video, hopefully you learn something here. Uh, before I even get into the charts, though, because, of course, we do a lot of charts here. I like doing some TA, hence my name being TA Tim. We have some bad news doubling up on us today. The first one is the CPI numbers coming in higher than expected. You guys can see over here, expectations, those numbers coming in higher. And, and probably some of the biggest bearishness is that the inflation rate year over year, which a lot of people like to use, is heading back to the upside, back up to 3.5 after being 3.2 here just last month. What does that mean? Well, let me explain to you guys part of why Bitcoin and crypto had rallied so fast, so high. Bitcoin hitting new all-time highs before even the Bitcoin halving, which happens here in about 10 days. Also, we had altcoins going parabolic in a time that it really wasn't even altcoin season. Why? Well, some of it does have to do with there was a widespread expectation that at some point this year, we're going to have over eight rate cuts happen. We're going to see over 1.5 rate cuts happen in total. Uh, that is looking less and less likely, especially with these inflation numbers coming in. Now that people are no longer expecting those heavy cuts, they're realizing they were a little too overexposed too early to a lot of the crypto space. I'll talk more about that when we get to the charts, but that was just the first bit of bad news that we recovered that we had today. The second one coming to our altcoin world is the SEC just filed a lawsuit against Uniswap issuing a Wells notice to the company. Why is this important? Well, Uniswap is currently the top ranked DEX, meaning the highest market cap of decentralized exchanges. Am I too worried about Uniswap long term? No. I think this ultimately is a move because they just got their butts handed to them in the Coinbase lawsuit. And the SEC has made it very clear that they are on full out war when it comes to crypto. This, though, is something that will scare away normies. It'll scare away the less educated. It is a continual attack that they will not rest. They're going to do everything within their power to call as many altcoins as possible securities before it's all said and done. And they want to get rid of these decentralized exchanges because they know they're a threat to the, de to the TradFi uh, world, right? Again, both these stories, are they really, really going to crush the space? No. But it is something that when you see a market that, let's just call it a rough bubble, got too high, too fast, it's overbought. These are the types of things that prick that bubble and lead to what I've been calling for upwards of 30 to anywhere to 60% of corrections for some of your favorite altcoins. Now, with that being said, let's get into the charts and let's break down what we're seeing here. We got to start off with Bitcoin, where just a couple of days ago, the members can vet this. I told you guys there was a scenario where even though we broke to the upside in this symmetrical triangle pattern, I said, watch for a potential fake out situation to happen. Now, the first two things that I called for definitely have happened where I said we would break that back down below this red support level. It used to be resistance. We would no longer treat it as support. We would come down somewhere here in the middle, close to 67. We wicked slightly below it. We would bounce back up and retest this former support and resistance level as resistance once again. We're in the middle of doing that just now. You can see it on that one-hour chart bouncing almost perfectly. And now the question is, does the rest of my prediction play out where we actually see the fake out to the upside lead towards a bigger move to the downside? Now, I have this level coming in here somewhere around 64. Don't pay attention to that level. I'll show you a level that I think is an interesting one to watch when it comes to Bitcoin price. But my point here is, is that this is playing out kind of how we have said it would play out. I've been telling you guys for the longest time, watch out for steeper corrections 
on altcoins. Ones like Solana that got up over $200. I said, keep an eye on bigger pullbacks. I talked about 160 being a level on Solana to keep an eye on at the bare minimum. We just hear today wicked close to that level. We technically are down about 20 something percent. This 23% to me is the bare minimum for Solana. More realistically, we're probably looking at something greater to a 40 to 50% chance. Even that 40% chance brings us back down to about 120. And the reason for that is because we've had massive explosive price action with very minimal pullbacks. And these are what altcoins do before the full-blown bull market happens with altcoin seasons. Same thing with Cardano. I've been warning for at least this pullback back down here to 56. Well, we've had that now for a while. Now I'm telling you guys, peep, keep an eye on 46 cents as a potential pullback for Cardano. That, of course, would be about a 40% retracement, uh, 43% give or take. Uh, and that's something we have been talking about. I, I could show you a lot of different altcoins, but ultimately... The bleeding that we have been calling for on Investing Bros is taking effect. Now, I will say, let's kind of back up here for a second and go back to Bitcoin. As a whole, even though I think there's a decent chance we go lower, and I'm going to say that number here in just a couple of minutes. There's a different chart I want to show you. Bitcoin's holding up pretty nicely right here. It's actually kind of trading sideways. We're not really setting lower lows at all. In fact, we're setting these, while we're setting lower highs kind of technically, we're setting higher lows. This is that worst sideways action. But then you take a look at those alts, Cardano, lower highs, lower lows. We got a head and shoulders pattern in play that could bring us back down here lower. Solana, uh, it's a little harder to see, but if you come in here to the four-hour chart, take a look back here towards this high right here, lower highs, lower lows. You got uh, a AVEX for sure, lower highs, lower lows, hitting the first level of our big prediction we called there as well. We're seeing altcoins have big, big, big pullbacks while Bitcoin seems to be trading sideways. Well, what chart benefits from all that? The Bitcoin dominance chart, which just this last week, I want to make sure this is on your guys' radar even though we're not back up closer above 55 like we've been at earlier this cycle, we did close the highest weekly candle we have had since all the way back during the April 2021 plummet during the bull market. This is a sign after a period of time with almost a flat top on weekly closes with rising lower levels of an ascending triangle. We could see a big breakout on Bitcoin where we see the Bitcoin dominance go up to 60%. Now, again, we're watching Bitcoin go sideways. If I'm looking here, the daily or four hour, we're seeing altcoins fall. This is where we've seen traditional cycles show a slight downward movement in everything, but altcoins massively outpace it. And then the big, big bullish price action for altcoins happens later. This is coming in right on schedule, which is even more of a reason why those of you who are thinking maybe the alts are bottoming out right now and I should be buying these dips because it's nothing but upward price action. The reality says the downward action in these altcoins compared to Bitcoin is just getting started. We've just now gotten our big breakout on the weekly chart here for Bitcoin dominance. Look for that 60% potentially to be coming in over the next little bit. And you see the other bad news again. We're looking at the economic data. That's not looking good. We're looking at the war on Uniswap. That's not looking good. Let's think about this logically for a second going away from the charts. Bitcoin is a store of value. When people are worried about uh, the economy not doing well, I don't think it's Bitcoin that suffers that much. It's the altcoins that are seen as the more risky risk on assets. In a time where economics is not looking favorable or people are worried, they're going to get out as many risk on assets as they can. What they go to, though, is things that are stores of value. And what has Bitcoin been called recently by one of the wealthiest institutions in the world, BlackRock? And it, uh, a um, – what's the – a – a race to quality, a race to quality, to value. Bitcoin, I actually see, when I see Uniswap and when I see the news of a war in Uniswap and the news of economic question marks, that spells doom for altcoins in the short term. That spells actually potential possibilities of, of upward action for Bitcoin. I think it corrects a little bit just because it's a little overcorrected, but you, a little overextended, but you get my point here. Bitcoin dominance I do think, guys, is going to continue to head to the upside. Did I think it was just going to happen 60% before the all-time high? Yeah, I thought so. But it turns out I might have been wrong about the price action, but right about the overall target of Bitcoin getting up to 60% only for later on. I'm talking about later this summer, later next fall, for the Bitcoin dominance to do the same thing it did back in January of 2021, fall off a cliff where altcoins 
outpace Bitcoin. Uh, remember here, guys, December 2020, January 2021, was Bitcoin falling? Not at all. It was just getting going in big bullish price action. But altcoins went parabolic during this time. Those of you who are continuing to think that the altcoins are make you 2x the next week or so, you're just a little misled. The time for altcoin season has not yet started. That time will come later. We're still looking at potential big pullbacks for some of your favorites, Solana, Cardano, Chainlink, ICP, AVAX. They are just getting started. Now, I told you I would tell you what level I think Bitcoin could get down to during the bearishness. I'll give you other videos for the rest of the altcoin space. I just wanted to show you the overall negativity. When it comes to Bitcoin, this is the chart that I'm keeping an eye on. This is the seven-day liquidation chart for Bitcoin. And take a look at where the highest amount of liquidations will happen. Yeah, there's some little tinges of yellow above us. But as a whole, 65K is looking very, very interesting. In this sideways price action for Bitcoin, if we head back over to the chart, that would bring us back down to the same lows we had back here in April and kind of confirm a nice sideways range here, a little bit north of 60,000, a little bit less than the high of 73, but somewhere in 65 to 72, we could see the next month be sideways trading, just like we've seen in previous uh, pre-having cycles. We saw it happen right here. Back in May of 2020, we rally into it, trade sideways for weeks. We saw it happen here back in 2019. We actually trade sideways and then dipped down 20% and then went up. And we saw it back here in 2012. We get up into the halving and then trade sideways a couple weeks later, later before the big bull market starts. This looks like we have history repeating itself once again. So I urge you guys. Do not be freaking out. Do not be selling all your crypto. The bull market is still here. But if you're saying, are we at the bottom of the altcoins? Is it safe now to buy back in and expect upward motion for the next couple of weeks? You might find yourself being disappointed. There might be further, further red action coming on those altcoins. Get your money ready because the buying of a lifetime will happen very, very soon. That's all I have for you guys in this video. If you liked it, smash that like button. Whether you're watching on YouTube, whether you're watching on X, make sure that like is smashed. Hit the follow button. Hit subscribe. We are quickly growing here at the Investing Bros. With that said, though, that's all I have for you guys in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.